Princess Anne not ashamed of her extramarital affair with Timothy Lawrence. Princess Anne was not ashamed of her extramarital affair with her now husband Timothy Lawrence, according to a detective investigating the case of her stolen love letters. Tonight Channel 5 are airing a documentary entitled Princess Anne, The Seven Loves of Her Life, which will take a deep dive into the Princess Royal's love life. Anne has always been a very private person, and would get very annoyed when the press asked her questions about her relationships, especially when they asked whether she would be getting married. She was so secretive that she used to drive Captain Mark Phillips around in her horse carriage to hide him from view when they started seeing each other. She also kept the media on their toes, denying their intention to marry until the very last minute. However, after the couple tied a knot in 1973, their relationship deteriorated and both were known to be unfaithful in the marriage. Anne was said to be having an affair with her police bodyguard Sergeant Cross before he was transferred away. Then, in 1989, her relationship with Commander Timothy Lawrence was exposed after someone stole love letters from her briefcase in Buckingham Palace and sent them to the Sun newspaper. Anne and Tim met when he was working as the Queen's equerry and Anne used to stay for weekends at his Winchester home. After the news broke about their affair, the Princess and Mark separated and then divorced in 1992. Anne wasted no time in marrying Tim just a few months later. However, during the investigation into the stolen love letters, Anne and Tim were completely open and honest about their relationship with the police. Detective Chief Superintendent Roy Rand told the 2002 Channel 4 documentary The Real Princess Anne, They were good witnesses for me. They were upfront about it, they were not ashamed of their relationship. They were clearly disturbed by the fact it had been revealed in the way it had, but they were completely open and Commander Lawrence's only concern was trying to protect the princess. Due to Anne's regular visits, Tim's neighbors all knew about their relationship, but never told anyone about it. Former Daily Express reporter Ashley Walton said it was extraordinary that the press never caught wind of it. He said, she sort of gets loyalty from people who don't know her and have nothing to do with her. No one thought to ring the paper and tell us. Meanwhile, the police were more concerned about the fact that Anne had been a victim of a crime right inside palace walls. After the Sun handed over the letters to Scotland Yard, the serious crime squad was called in. They interviewed almost everyone in the palace and took more than 500 people's fingerprints. DCS Ram said, the inquiry was unusual. You're dealing with a theft in a royal palace and the victim happens to be a princess. You then find that what's been stolen are letters from her lover. You then have to deal with that by interviewing loads of people in palaces in the full glare of the world's media and this soon became the most talked about story. Unfortunately, the police never managed to pinpoint who stole the letters. After a four-month investigation, they eventually had to tell the princess they could not say, definitively who stole them. Nevertheless, life moved on and Anne divorced her husband, who went on to marry fellow equestrian Sandy Pfluger. A few weeks after their divorce was finalized in 1992, Anne went to the Caledonian Ball with Tim by her side, where they danced happily together and pictures of them splashed on the front pages of the newspapers. Royal photographer Fane Fincher recalled, It was the first time I'd seen her look truly happy for years and years and years. And I just thought well, good for her and I was really pleased for her. Anne and Tim have now been married for 28 years.